Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we are going to learn about uh, the basic morphological operations of uh, uh, dilation and erosion. These are the fundamental uh, uh, steps for the advanced operations, advanced morphological operations. So in this lecture, we are going to see the effect of uh, performing dilation and erosion and uh, their users and how we perform operation with some illustration. Let's uh, take a detailed look at the concept of dilation. Dilation is an important morphological operation. And uh, we usually use uh, uh, this symbol to denote the dilation. It's basically a, a, a plus symbol within a circle. A dilation is the set of all the points in the image where the structuring element touches the foreground. And here, the input is a binary image and and a structuring element uh, containing only ones. Let us see one example for uh, dilation. Uh, consider each pixel in the input image and uh, if the structuring element touches the foreground uh, foreground image, then write a one at the origin of the structuring element. This is basically how we perform a uh, dilation and. Uh, here is the structuring element that we are going to apply and here is the example. So this is the uh, image with the two objects in it. Zeros are black region and uh, ones are white region. So there is a separation between these two elements. Now when we use this structuring element and move it around this uh, object and this object, these objects become dilated and we can fill the gap between these two. Okay, so when you place uh, this center pixel here so it will be in touch with the these three ones so it will become one and when you place it again at this location uh, so it will be in contact with this one it will be its uh, eight neighbor so again this will be turned into white pixel and similarly if you place that structuring element here uh, it will be in contact with this one so there will be a bridging of the gap so this will be the output uh, result of dilation. So how that uh, dilation works, uh, we'll see with the one more illustration. So if this is the input image uh, pixel values along a, a row, and if this is the structuring element which is touching it, now if there is a there is a one coming in contact with the location of the structuring element, then then we'll write the write one at the center location of the structuring element. Now in the next move, we'll move it. Now there is no there are no ones in the region of the structuring element. So the center pixel location will write as zero in the output image. Next move. Again there's a one here remaining to our zeros. So this one will come come in contact with this one so again it is one 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 again it's one again it's one uh, so this is the end of the trip if you move it uh, away again you can write one here hey, there is a pixel available so this is how uh, dilation works uh, row wise and uh, similarly you can do it uh, column wise also this is a structuring element which is distributed row wise so uh, we can have any type of structuring element okay we'll see more examples uh, later now another example for uh, dilation you can see uh, this uh, image here uh, with a black circle in between now this white area is the foreground and uh, black spot is the background and after dilation can see the foreground is getting enlarged and the background which is the dark area has shrunk so uh, here the image is getting light lighter and uh, end up more uniform intensity 
let us see the effect of deletion on a gray value image uh, so here is the image of a light bulb with its reflection on it and a, a rectangular box uh, behind uh, and it's on a table and there's a background you can see now if you perform dilation on that image you can see uh, this reflected part has become uh, dilated has become wider and in general the image is having more uniform intensity and it's uh, uh, it has expanded the uh, foreground part dilated the foreground part we can use the dilation concept to uh, detect the edge so basically uh, first step will uh, dilate the input image then subtract the input image from dilated image only the edges will remain so here is the thing uh, here is the input image dilated image and subtract the thing subtract these two things and whatever remains uh, will uh, will show you the edges dilation is uh, represented in a set format as uh, this one so it's a dilates b uh, this is a and b is the structuring element here a uh, dilation b is equal to set of uh, values z uh, where b cap of z intersection of a is not equal to phi where phi is the empty set and uh, basically dilate means extend and uh, as i told you a is the object to be dilated and b is the structure increment and you can see here there are uh, two examples uh, uh, in this image so first one you have the object to be dilated and the structuring element and uh, when you dilate this square uh, with the structuring element the borders get extended so the object becomes dilated so this is the uh, added uh, amount in each direction d by 8 uh, with this added so the structuring element with this uh, uh, d by 4 and uh, so basically d by 4 amount is added if you add the at both sides uh, and uh, on top and bottom also but if you use a different structuring element like this this is a more of a, a vertical uh, structuring element now you can see if you dil dilate this rectangle using uh, this structuring element uh, you can see you get more of uh, uh, extension along the vertical axis so here is study by 2 and here is study by 2 so the total width of the structuring element is d so when you add uh, these two parts you get d and the width remains the same as in the above uh, dilated image so this is the uh, effect of structuring element on the outcome so here is an illustration of uh, how basically this uh, dilation operation works uh, what exactly happens so here is the structuring element b uh, and uh, if you take its reflection again it's same because it's uh, it's equal in all uh, parts it's a five cross five structuring element uh, with the origin at the center so basically uh, the reflection is also same now here is the original image which we want to dilate so in order to dilate uh, let's see what happens so first we'll keep the structuring element in a place where it just touches the uh, original image so here is the intersection okay and this one is the center pixel okay marked in blue now we'll write that center pixel we'll retain the center pixel okay uh, and next we'll move the structuring element again we'll mark the center pixel so wherever we have the structuring element uh, center pixel uh, located we'll we'll extend the object till that point okay so we'll move it along the border so that it just inter uh, intersects with the original image moving along here more more 
and here so this is basically the process we move it along the edges so that it just touches the object of interest or the uh, original image in this case now this is what you get extended pixels when you move it all along the border when you complete the process for all the border pixels so this is the uh, basically boundary of the center pixels where b cap of z intersects a and this means the object gets extended like this this is the dilation uh, operation in working here is one application of our dilation uh, we can repair the broken characters using dilation so you can see uh, in this uh, example in the word year the e and a are uh, broken letters now if you perform dilation so that can be corrected somewhat this is the erosion uh, given by this uh, symbol a minus symbol inside a circle erosion is a set of all points in image where the structuring element fits into uh, here the difference with dilation is uh, in case of dilation uh, the structuring element was just enough to touch the uh, image but here in erosion the structuring element should fit into that uh, particular uh, image it should be fully inside in order to perform erosion and uh, here uh, let us consider each foreground pixel in the input image if the structuring element fits in write a one at the origin of the structuring element it's basically a simple application of pattern matching so here the input is a binary image uh, gray value and a structuring element containing only ones so let's see one example of uh, erosion so this is the image the background is this dark circle and the foreground is white and if you perform erosion you can see that the foreground which is white area has shrunk while uh, the background which is dark area has uh, grown okay so this is the effect of using the erosion so with the erosion the foreground shrinks and the background grows so white is equal to zero and black equal to one so here dual property image as a result of erosion gets darker so let's see the effect of erosion on a grayscale uh, image so here is a light bulb with the with a rectangular box behind it and uh, and it's on a table and some background you can see now if you perform erosion on this image the image becomes darker okay so this white uh, reflection on the light bulb has been uh, uh, removed and uh, image is generally uh, is looking dark and uh, small uh, details of the background darker area have grown okay and you can see this line has become a bit more thicker here so this is the effect of uh, erosion uh, images get darker one application of uh, erosion is in uh, counting of coins so counting of uh, coins is difficult because many times they touch each other and the solution is to perform binarization and erosion to separate them and then uh, we can perform counting so here is the image of a coin now you can see uh, there are lots of coins which are touching okay uh, it's difficult for us to uh, make the program or algorithm to count them so if we can able to separate them uh, then it will be a easy task so what we can do is uh, we perform binarization so basically grayscale image is converted into a binary image binary image is only having ones and zeros By grayscale means uh, you can have a range from 0 to 255 so and then if you perform erosion on the binary image you get distinct circles here and then it becomes easy to count so this is one application so let us see the erosion operation as uh, given in the textbook so a erodes b this symbol is uh, is a set 
that where b on the the structuring element b of z is a subset of a so which should fit inside the uh, uh, image a so here erosion means trim now here is the image and b is the structuring element with a width d by 4 now if you erode a with this uh, structuring element b you can see the width has shrunk okay so it it should fit inside the uh, rectangle and you slide it all along and then it there will be a reduction in the uh, width and uh, uh, length now if you use uh, this type of uh, structuring element and if you slide it all along the uh, uh, inner perimeter of the uh, image a then only this part will be remaining this is a erode b okay so because it, it is a, a vertical structuring element more vertical elements will be taken out so only this line this thick line part will be remaining all other parts will be eroded away okay so this is a erosion in working now let us illustrate uh, how this erosion basically works with the with an example so here is the structuring element given in yellow structuring element b and this is the original image a now in order to perform erosion we place the structuring element entirely inside the original image a okay so you uh, will mark the center pixel so that is uh, this blue uh, square and then uh, we'll mark it next uh, another location we'll keep the structuring element then slide it all along the border all the pixels uh, from here to here are marked so just to save time we are skipping the points in between so just place the structuring element wherever it fits within the uh, boundary uh, near the boundary And inside and these are the points that we identify and then so this is what we get okay these are the uh, pixels which are near the boundary and the structuring elements element fits inside and this is the center uh, point uh, pixel of that structuring element near the boundary now uh, so we call it as boundary of center pixels where B is inside A this results in the output image like this so it is the erosion uh, result of erosion you can see the size of the image has shrunk okay so this is how erosion works here is an example of dilation and erosion and uh, here first image is the image of squares of size 1 3 5 7 9 and 15 pixels on the side okay so it's basically 1 cross 1 3 cross 3 5 cross 5 and up to 15 cross 15 uh, uh, squares and we want to remove smaller squares uh, we treat them as noise in this case so first in this b image uh, we are performing erosion with the square size the structuring element uh, of 13 cross 13 pixel size okay and you are left with only these three elements here so structuring element size is 13 cross 13 now if you dilate this B image uh, with the same structuring element you will get this one okay so here the size has again increased so we are left with three bigger uh, squares okay so this is the application of dilation and erosion basically we can remove small objects such as noise using dilation and erosion uh, so far in this lecture we have looked at uh, dilation and erosion concept in detail and uh, their applications uh, in the next lecture uh, we are going to learn about uh, opening and closing operation and then hit or miss transformation see you at the next lecture thank you